Today I'm going to share with you a brand new GNOME shell extension called the Material Shell. The Material Shell is basically a new GNOME shell, but it's a tiling window manager sort of GNOME shell. Sounds kind of cool. Let's check it out. So I came across the material shell because of this article over at OMG Ubuntu. Joey Snedden over at OMG Ubuntu wrote this a couple of days ago. The material shell is an impressive tiling window manager GNOME shell extension thingy. Uh, he writes, imagine GNOME shell and the i3 window manager got married, bought a house, settled down, had a kid. That kid would grow up to be the material shell. I will say the screenshots look great. Uh, other than installing the material shell extension, which is basically just a GNOME shell extension, you also should install the Plata GTK theme and the Tila icon set. All of them are linked in the OMG Ubuntu article, and I'm going to link to the OMG Ubuntu article, of course, in the show description. Uh, looks good, though. I mean, the, uh, the screenshots look good, but, I mean, making GNOME into a tiling window manager, the, my first thoughts, of course, are, dear God, why? <laughs> <laughs> I still kind of think that way, but we're going to take a look at it. The other thing I want to say is the Material Shell. That is a fantastic name. It's very reminiscent of that Madonna song from the 80s. I'm about to date myself, but the Material Girl. Love that song. We are living in a material world, and I am a material girl. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and pull this up in a VM. So I've got a, a virtual machine here with Ubuntu 19.04 on it, and I've had this VM since I did my review of the uh, Disco Dingo of uh, various flavors uh, a couple of months back. So this already has GNOME 3.32 installed, and you need GNOME 3.32 to use the material shell. You have to have GNOME 3.32. So Ubuntu 19.04 and all its variants uh, work fine. Just Make sure you have, obviously, GNOME. And then I've already did the instructions in the OMG Ubuntu article. It's basically one line of git clone the extension. And then make sure you have GNOME Tweaks, that particular tool, GNOME Tweaks installed. And then in GNOME Tweaks, go to Appearance. And from here, you can go ahead and install your uh, Plata. I did Plata Noir for the icon set. Looks good. Or the uh, GTK theme. Ja is the plot de noir. The icon set is Tila Dark. Uh, excuse me there. I also moved the buttons. They were originally on the right in Ubuntu. I moved all the window decorating buttons to the left. Uh, where is the extensions? There should be a tab in there for extensions. Yeah, right here. So in the tweak tool, go to extensions and material shell. Obviously, it's turned on. And that is it. Uh, basically, you launch these windows. So let me open up the file manager and I'm gonna open up one more file manager and you see it snaps to one half, the other one snaps to one half. So it is true tiling, unlike having to drag a window to snap into the grid. This takes care of itself on its own. When you open a window, it actually knows exactly where it should place on the screen. If I open a third, it gets placed there. If I open up a fourth, you see it's almost the master and stack layout. The traditional master and stack layout of DWM, Xmonad, Qtile. I love that particular particular layout. It's the default layout in a lot of tiling window managers. And it looks like we could change the layout. It's got an icon here, although it doesn't look quite master and stackish. But I'm not sure. I'm, I'm guessing that's just an icon for tiling layout. And if I click it off, maybe it does full screen, it looks like. Okay. And I guess I could cycle through. Yeah. So... I wonder if there is a way to control that with the keyboard. So if I did, well, I'm not exactly sure what I did. I did super and arrow left, and I messed something up. If I super and arrow right, okay, that just switches that window around a little bit. How about super A? Mm, super A. Okay, Super A. So he's using the WASD keys. The guy that created this shell, he must not be familiar with how most people handle tiling window managers because most tiling window managers, the controls for them are the Vim keys. Is Super and HJKL. He is using Super WASD like you would a first person shooter game, which is quite frankly retarded. Uh, like that is one of the dumbest things I've ever heard of. WASD 
in combination with the super key. Uh, the super key is right under WASD. Uh, it's, it makes no sense. You, wow, it, it, this thing is not configurable. It's basically alpha software, by the way. So there's no configuration file that I could change that, but that is horrible, having A to move to the left, and I guess D would move me back to the right, although that time when I hit D, it doesn't... Eh. Yeah, it, it's kind of buggy. Let me see if I can get the, the windows to come back up and see if I can cycle back to the right with Super D. I'm pretty sure that's what the key combination is. I'm looking at the OMG Ubuntu article. It, they uh, have a few of the default key bindings. And it looks like the, the only uh, the key bindings really we have are Super WASD to kind of navigate in the stack and Super Q or quit, um, really just to kill the window with focus. So Super Q will kill the window with focus. So that is how we would do that. Well, I have no idea. Again, this is very buggy. Let's see if I can get it back to tiling layout and Super Q to quit. Super Q, Super Q, Super Q. Super Q will not kill the last window. Why will it? Did the window manager crash? No, I can kill it with the mouse, just not with Super Q anymore. Most tiling window managers, Super Enter would bring up a terminal. That does nothing in the material shell. So I will say that it does some basic tiling, but for those of us that are used to tiling window managers, I, I gotta be frank, the material shell is just not even usable. It looks good. I mean, it, the icon set and the theme and everything here, uh, is good, but I don't understand why we have icons in the center of the screen for quick launchers, and I don't think they're hotkeyed in a way that I could do anything with them. Like if I did uh, Super, I don't know, Super 1, it's going to do Firefox because that's in the dock instead of, you know, that mess that was in front of me. I don't know, I don't see the point of this. I don't see, because you can't really click on it, and as soon as you open up one window, you're never going to see this again. Uh, so I don't, I'm not sure, again, I think it was created by somebody that really doesn't use tiling window managers, probably doesn't know how they usually function, but we need a really easy key combination to open a terminal. We don't have that as far as I know of. We need a really easy key combination for a run launcher. Now, because we're in GNOME, just hitting the super key is a run launcher, so we're good there. Uh, obviously, we need the HJKL keys, the Vim keys, to actually navigate for us rather than WASD. That's just horrible. If you're not going to use HJKL, at least do the arrow keys. But WASD, I'm not sure what the, the rationale behind that is. One interesting thing is if when I go down here and get the, like the full screen dash in GNOME, if I start searching, look at the left-hand dock while I start searching. Obviously, the icons and everything, the icons theme changes when I do the search. Uh, that's obviously a bug. When I delete everything I'm searching for, the icon set goes back to normal. I'm not sure, again, why that happens. Um, again, this is not prime time, ready for prime time software. This is like alpha quality software, buggy as hell. Again, it's not configurable in any way as of yet. There's no config file to change. And basically, you only have a handful of key bindings. The Super WASD for navigation, which is going to be, again, just insanely stupid for anybody <laughs> that's ever used uh, Tiling Window Manager before. You're, you're going to hate that. Super Q to kill the window with focus. That makes sense. And then Super plus the mouse to move a window around. That's standard in most Tiling Window Managers. But other than that, you really can't configure it beyond that as of yet. What do I think of the material shell? It, it, again, I, I wouldn't bother uh, installing it uh, unless you just want to check it out, but to think you're going to live in this, no. If you're used to other tiling window managers, the material shell is uh, not going to make you happy. For one thing, it is GNOME, and everything in GNOME is just slow and bloated. I mean, just watch these windows open and try to tile themselves. I mean, they just take forever. Well, let me click it. But still, this is not exactly blazing fast. And then when I use Super Q to kill the windows, again, we're not exactly, we're not setting any speed records here. And the fact that the material shell expects you to still do most things with the mouse, like these things in the center of each desktop. By the way, I think that changes when I change the desktop. So if I go to like the second workspace, 
and double click that. Yeah, I have a development category. Of course, nothing is there. So let me try that again. Let's see if I go to a, a workspace that that has a social category, which has Thunderbird. I guess they think Thunderbird email, I guess, is social. Anyway, back to one. We have the internet category, and there's about eight or ten different workspaces. Each of them probably will have their own set of these hotkeys in the center of the screen. Kind of a neat feature if you could operate it by the keyboard, if you could bring this to the forefront and navigate it with the keyboard. Navigating with the mouse, again, makes no sense. As soon as you open up a single window, you'll never see any of this again. Quite frankly, I, I, I don't see the point of this. I would rather use GNOME Shell as it is rather than creating this kind of bastardization of this floating window manager slash tiling window manager. If you want to run a tiling window manager, install a real tiling window manager that actually has good functionality. Things like the awesome window manager, i3, Qtile, Xmonad, BSPWM, WM. Do not worry about the material shell, at least not yet. Maybe in, in the coming months as you know it gets a little bit more functionality, it might be worth checking out right now, though. It's it's hot garbage, in my opinion. Before I go, this show was made possible by Ansem, Chris, the other Chris, Douglas, Dylan, Jack, George, Lee, or Mitchell, Philip, Rob, Robert, Sam, Tony, and Willie, the producers of the show. Those guys, they rock. Without them, you wouldn't know that I'm living in a material world and I am a material girl. You wouldn't know that without those guys. Also brought to you by... Those other names you see on the screen, that ever-growing list of names that help support my work over on Patreon. If you'd like to support the channel, please consider doing so. You'll find me at DistroTube over on Patreon. Alright guys, peace.